welcome to the ninth lecture of the isometric projection now in this lecture we are going to see the new problem now let's see the problem now in this problem here is the one view now below to that view another view is there so it means this is the front view and this one is the top view now below the front view this one is the side view so as this side view is at the, at the right hand so that's why this is the left hand side view this one is the front view and this one is the top view now let's see you can observe in front view and top view there is a one two vertical lines are there and that lines are get connected by the semicircular arc so it means it is a vertical plate of a semicircular side then next here you can see this rectangle so it rectangle indicates if you take it projection to the side view so it means it is another horizontal plate so it is a vertical plate of a semicircular cross section and in it, it is a horizontal plate so as you see the top view so in top view this horizontal plate is again semicircular cross section so it means it is a vertical plate and horizontal plate both are semicircular cross section then let's see here is a rectangle is denoted now the meaning of is of that rectangle is what there is a edge let's see if you take its projection to the horizontal direction so one inclined line is there so it means this vertical plate and this horizontal plate both these two plates are connected by the rib now here the thickness of rib is 8 mm now the rib will start at its center point of vertical center uh, circle and will end at the horizontal circle center okay so let's we will start drawing okay let's see the dimensions this height is 10 now from this this is total is 40 now the center is okay from this base the height is 40 and let's see from this one the radius is 20 so it means this is 40 and this one is 20 so height is 60 now length let's see as this radius is 20 so its width is 40 okay so its height is 60 width is 40 okay and let's see this length this length is again 60 because let's see this one this is 40 and this is again 20 so it is 60 and if you take the projections of this here so this become 60 so we have to draw the cube of length 40 then width 60 height 60 now let's see this origin o at the left side so that's why when you're producing the cube so this o should have to get coincided with this one so it means this geometry will have to lies on this plane so for drawing this one firstly draw the horizontal line take any point o on this line now draw the inclined line at an angle 30 degree now the length of this line should be 60 sorry 40 because this total width is 40 and this O should have to lies at this position so this total length is 40 now for this one it is 60 then take the height as 60 okay okay so this is the point O this is 40 mm this is 60 mm all the height are 60 mm now join these points join this one with this and so again join this one with these end points Now for drawing these lines, you can draw a parallel line to this line through this point and parallel line to this line through this point. Or I can use another method. I can take this distance in a compass, 4 cm distance in a compass, then put it over here, make an arc, then take this distance in a compass, put it over here. at this arc and join this one so it become 4 and 6 itself okay this is 4 and 9 become 6 okay you can see this is 6 so this cube is completed now i have to draw okay first layer will draw this vertical plate now let's see for drawing the vertical plate this vertical plate of width 10 mm and as it is semicircular cross section so it means i have to make a another plane which is at a distance 10 mm in front of this plane okay so for the total i'm doing i'm measuring one centimeter distance from this end point 
mark point here same here measure one centimeter distance from this point mark here then next join this one by using the very front line okay so i have to create the vertical plane of a given diameter so let's say as the radius is 20 as the radius is 20 given so square of a side length 40 mm i have to produce so from this point measure the distance 40 mm exactly downward and again here measure the 40 mm exactly downward it means parallel to this one and join this okay let's see here i have make a pole parallelogram okay i make it just 10 mm in front of this last edge because the width of vertical plate is 10 so firstly i will create the semicircle here so for making the semicircle you have to point out the center of the all these points all these edges so mark the center center will add a distance to centimeter this is two centimeter two centimeter then you have to take the minor diagonal in points so this is the this is the one diagonal this is the major diagonal and this one is the minor diagonal now you have to take the minor diagonal point and connect the corner of minor and di minor diagonal points to the opposite side midpoint so the if i take this corner point so opposite sides for this corner point is this one and this one so i will connect this corner point to the midpoint of this edge then again i am connecting it will with this one then take this one so this point we have i have to connect to the opposite line or opposite edge midpoint so it means here this is a opposite edge it is midpoint connect this one and again connect this one okay now let's see i have to connect this smaller distance so how to connect the smaller distance taking this intersection point as a centers this one we have four centers this intersection points one another this one and minor diagonal corner points in this one and this one so these are the four centers so i, have, I will connect this one by using a, this corner point as a center so put it on here then distance this one as a radius make an arc then same i have to connect this larger distance so this large distance i can connect by this corner uh, minor diagonal corner point so this one is the center this distance has a radius this much okay draw this arc okay <laughs> Now this semicircular arc is completed. I have to produce same semicircle at the back side at distance 10 mm. So what I am doing, I am just shifting the centers, this one and this center at a distance 1 cm just behind. So measure the 1 cm distance. And this center we have to, you have to shift by two parallel to these edges. Okay. So shift this center 1 cm just behind. And again shift this one which is parallel line shift it one centimeter just back side okay. here is a new center so again same distance is the radius put it over here as it is a new center okay try an arc then this center and this much distance as a radius okay now this is the new center put it over here then the distance is a radius make an arc okay okay now i here draw this arc 
Now how to connect this one? Let's see. Draw the tangent line to these endpoints. Okay, so this is the tangent. Now here is this inner portion. Hmm. Now at a distance twenty mm. Okay, here is this arc. Should we get moves inside? So here I completed the semicircle of vertical plate. Join this one. Then this. Now let's see same. I have to produce this to the horizontal plate. So horizontal plate, I can take the one centimeter distance just above, then one centimeter distance here above. Join this one by using a very fine line. Now draw the line. Parallel to this line. Parallel to this line of a length four centimeter again. This one is a four centimeter. Same here. Draw the line parallel to this one. Join this. Okay, so this is the horizontal plane on which we have to make a semicircle. Now again, <laughs> select the minor diagonal. So this is the minor diagonal of this rhombus. Okay, I take the one centimeter distance here. One centimeter distance here. I join these two distances by using the spent line. Then I am drawing the parallel line to this line through this one centimeter point of a length. One centimeter same here one centimeter and join this one so i got those horizontal play rhombus now these are the minor diagonal point this one and then this one so we have to find out the center points now for center points are at a distance two centimeter now this is the two centimeter cut it over here and cut it over here then put it at this corner point cut this H cut this H so these are the center points now this is the minor diagonal corner points connect this one the opposite edges midpoints so these are the opposite edges to this corner point and these are the midpoints so connect this one then again this one to this point now I have to join this one as this is the smaller distance so i will connect this by using this and intersection point as a center point so take this distance as a radius this much distance okay and make an arc okay <laughs> then i have to connect this one so take this distance as a this center point as a this corner point as a center this much distance as a radius draw an arc now let's see shift this center at a distance one centimeter because the width of plate is one centimeter so this is the one centimeter this is the new center keep the same distance as a radius this one distance as a radius now this is the new center draw an arc okay now again shift this center at a distance one centimeter we should be parallel to this line shift this one the distance one centimeter okay this one you see the center now this one is the radius okay so this is the center new center draw an arc
Now let's again connect this one by using a tangent line. Okay, here is this inner one. Turn this using a tangent line. <laughs> now again, draw the downward direction line and again extend this one. So this will intersect here. Then again, extend this one, extend this one, okay, <laughs> I'll join this one by using a very front line, now let's see this is the center for this vertical plate circle, this is the center. So this is this diameter is of four centimeter. So I will find the center at a distance two centimeter. And let's see the rib of a thickness eight mm is there. So from this center, mark a distance four mm to the rightward and four mm to the leftward. Join this one. Now here, this center and this center. So this is center at distance 2 mm now to no, at distance 2 centimeter so again 8 mm the width of uh, rib is there so that's why take a distance 4 mm left rightward and 4 mm leftward so join this one and connect this rib this one with this one now take the vertical line exactly vertical line And join this one again. Now erase this inner edge as it is invisible due to the rib. Okay, so make it dark. Okay, make it dark. So you can erase this one. Okay, if you erase this one, so you will get the exactly 3D diagram of a given front view, top view, and side view. So this is the actual three diagram of a even front to top and side view. Thank you for watching the video.